Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to start a new way of doing diecast reviews. I got new criterias that I'm going to evaluate cars with it and this week we're going to start with this Bugatti Chiron made by Biburago. Let's check it out. There it is, the Bugatti Chiron, made by Biburego. I bought this one used a couple of weeks ago, and I paid $35 for it, so it was a, it was a good deal. So let's check what's inside the box. There you have it. Packaging is just a piece of cardboard box. And the old plastic thingy. So the wing is a little bit loose, but it's not broken. Overall, the scar looks nice, but we'll need a lot of polishing. suspension Now time to clean and polish this car. 
Now since there's no scratch or dent in the car, I'm gonna go ahead and use my simple ceramic wax. It'll look perfect. Now, about my new evaluation chart, I'll be judging my cars based on these four criteria. First will be the quantity and overall quality of details. Is it toy level quality model or museum quality show car? Secondly, the paint finish and assembly. Was it painted and assembled by a kid with a rattle can and a screwdriver? Or a Swiss watchmaker with a lot of spare time and the best quality paint? Also, third one, customization possibilities. Would it be easy to customize or that's it? You don't even think about changing the wheels. You're gonna destroy it. And finally, what should I do with this car after the video? Should I give it to my kid or display it under a glass bubble forever? So these are my four criteria. So for this car, regarding quantities and quality of details, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a three out of five points because although the interior looks super nice for the price point, the exterior needs just a little bit more detail. For the paint and assembly, I'm gonna give it a 3.5 out of five because the light blue coat is very nice while the dark blue one looks very maestoish to me. The general assembly of the car is very nice considering the fact that it's not a $500 auto R. So for a $35 Biburago, it's fine by me. Customization of this car? Heck yeah! 5 out of 5. These cars were made to be disassembled quickly, so go ahead, customize it to your taste. And finally, what should I do with this car after the video? Well. One thing's for sure, I'm not gonna give this car to my kids because I think it's a very nice model and I will find a nice place in my shelves to put it. So final score on this thing, 15.5 out of 20, which is really good for a Beep Urago. Honestly, I would like to compare it to an auto art, but you know, I'm not the kind of guy who spends $500 for a diecast car, so I'll have to go with this one. Thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you guys next time, bye bye! Audio Jungle.